Hi guys, this is Mr. Choke. I'm a professional teacher for accounting business studies, EMS as well as research. If you're watching this, you're definitely at that place. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button down there and i promise you that will make your academic problems a thing of the past now with that out of the way let's get into the lesson now here in this lesson we are required to calculate um to fill this table below and this table is going to help you to understand how accumulated depreciation works you must be able to differentiate between depreciation as well as accumulated depreciation now let's start with the concept of depreciation what do we mean when we say depreciation depreciation means loss of value of an asset simply because it is used now remember as a business whenever we purchase assets we buy them so that we can be able to use them in the business to make money but we must know that as we use those assets to make money they lose value because of their utilization so now it's very important that each and every year as a business um we make sure that we look at the value that our assets are depreciating by so that we can see um, whether we'll need to replace some of them or not, okay? So now, here they're saying that the financial year end of ZZ Traders is on 31 December each and every year. So meaning that the end of the, uh, of the year for this business is going to be on the 31st of December every year. And the beginning will be on the 1st of January each and every year. So here, what they're saying to us is that um, they bought a vehicle on 1 January 2008. So obviously we need to check how many months did we have this assets for. So remember, because you are dealing with two things here, um, you are looking at the issue of, um, you are looking at, you have to complete this from 2008 up until 2010, okay? So now in the first year, remember our year started on January. So obviously, if it starts on January, it will end on the 31st of December. So meaning that this asset that we just bought here was with us for the entire accounting period. So what we are going to do, we are going to try and calculate that depreciation and see how we end up having accumulated depreciation. Remember, accumulated depreciation is the sum of depreciations of that particular asset from the time it was bought up to date. Okay. So we are starting here on the first year this asset was with us um from january 2008 up until 31 december 2008 so obviously it was with us for the entire financial month remember that guys um when we calculate using the cost price method um we use what we call um the at principle amount rate and time but in the case our amount is represented by the cost price so because here if you look at this the years are the same and the months are the same we just have to calculate for year one and then from there we will put this into order so now um our cost price according to here is two hundred thousand, and then the rate that this asset depreciate by is 25 percent so when we do our calculation we are going to say our cost price of 200,000, remember, is going to be 200,000 um, multiplied by, according to here, it's 25 over 100. So we'd have that 25 over 100 and then multiply by 12 over 12 because this asset was with us for the entire financial period. So when we do it here, we are going to say um, 200,000 and then multiply by uh 25 divided by 100 and then our answer here it's 50,000 so meaning that the depreciation of this asset for this current year it will be um 50,000 when we started it will be 50,000 here then obviously accumulated depreciation for that year um will be the same 50,000 here remember this asset um when we started the year it did not have any depreciation so at the end of the first year depreciation and accumulated will be the same so our carrying value according to here will be left with hundred and fifty thousand now because this asset was not sold as we continue you'll realize that it's going to depreciate by the same amount so here depreciation will still be um fifty thousand and then accumulated depreciation is going to be um this fifty thousand plus this fifty thousand which will give us a um, hundred thousand and then the carrying value will be um, two hundred thousand minus hundred thousand so we'll be left with hundred thousand here and then next when you check the same year um, 2010 would have the same depreciation because it's on the cost price so it will be 
um, 50,000 and then the accumulated depreciation here will be 150,000 because we are going to say this 50,000 plus this 100,000 so therefore our carrying value will be this cost price minus this accumulated so we'll be left with the carrying value of 50,000 then we'll be done with this activity let's check if the way we did it is correct and you will see whether I was telling the truth or not so um, this is where our answer is so it means that our calculation is correct so now um, if you have any question on this you are more than welcome to make sure that you get in touch with me I hope that this lesson guys has helped you to understand how this accumulated depreciation works thank you for watching may God richly bless you shalom